So here is the front nose or the front V part. This is the passenger side. You can tell because of the angled cut here, how it mounts against the body and the hinge and how it wraps around and it's a straight line down at the bottom. So it goes right there like that. This is actually really easy to install because we have these slots. I was showing you these slots earlier. They're gonna help with the adjustment. The order that we're gonna put the part in is we're gonna do the middle, the bottom, and then up by the hinge. So I'll grab a couple screws and we'll do that. So I've got a couple threads there. I'm gonna put a couple threads right there on the next one up. And now that I have two, it just kind of hangs out there. So I'm going to sight down through the slots again and make sure that I pick them all up. So it needs to slide that way. And I can tell because this one isn't on. So I'm just going to slide it back a tiny bit right there. Check the bottom. Bottom looks good. Check the top. The top looks like it needs a little more. So a little bit more. One on the bottom. Now, one on the top. Okay, so it's real loose right now. I've got, what, four screws in it. I'm gonna do the other side. And the reason why I'm gonna do the other side is in case I need to adjust them together to get a better fit down here at the bottom. So let me grab that one and we'll do the other side. I've just picked up the driver's side nose trim. I'm gonna do this one the same way as the other side. Start in the middle, check the hole alignment. If I need to slide it down, I'm gonna leave the screws loose so it just slides right down or right up. Start in the middle. Let's see, it goes right there. So I can see that this hole is on center. I'll put one screw in it. I can see this one's on center. I'll put one more screw here. And I've just got a couple turns on it, so it's still really loose. I'm gonna side it down here at the bottom, and I just brought it in a little bit. I just pushed it in with my fingers. So it's actually centered there. It's good, 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 good. This looks good, good. Actually, they're all, they're all there. Um, so I'm going to put a couple screws in the bottom. Actually, one screw in the bottom, one screw in the top. Leave them all loose. That one's loose. Back on the top. Now I've got one, two, three, four screws in this one, four screws in that one. Stand back, take a look at it, make sure you're happy with the fit. If it needs a little adjustment, you've left them loose, slide it down or slide it up. These two are gonna to come together quite nicely. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start by putting the screws in and finish this job. So we finished this by putting the rest of the screws in and tightening them up. What makes this job really easy are those slotted holes that we put into all our parts. By having the parts loose, you can adjust the part up or down, getting that front of the V tight and the height correct. Once you have that, start putting your screws in, tightening them up, and this part of the job is done.